Rosario Dawson. They should probably stop attacking physically, violently Bernie Sanders supporters, right? Yes! It's so funny because the narrative that CNN keeps putting out there, the whole Obama boys it started with and then the Bernie bros, is a really racist, sexist narrative. And we are constantly being pitted as, you know, those people who threw chairs as opposed to the factual reality of the guy who picked up the chair and put it back down. <laughs> because we're so violent, right? No. Like, if they want to be... Um, putting down the idea of Bernie or bust, that the, the host of the DNC should probably not say that we should behave because they're just going to roll call it first thing and not give us democracy, right? That's like a really bad way of going about it. If they want to, if they want to stop the dialogue and the narrative of Jill if Hill, <laughs> or Bernie or Green or Bernie or Canada or all of the other amazing things that I keep seeing people coming up with then probably, you know, um, actually doing a platform for the DNC at these hearings that actually recognizes the things that we care about. Because as we've all said for a long time, it's bigger than Bernie. It's about the issues. And he just said very early on, enough about the emails, I think really hoping that we would then get into the issues. And that just never really seemed to happen. And that's a real shame because these issues are bigger than all of us. That's why we keep saying, not me, us. It's so much bigger than just one of us individually. It's so much bigger than Bernie Sanders. This is about our health. Like, what's comparable to our health? They're going, oh, okay, well, if you don't get that, you lost, then you just get to have to incrementally get this. Well, what are you replacing our health with? What are you replacing not war with? War? You're replacing not fracking with fracking? You're replacing education with no education and poor education? Like, those aren't, those aren't comparables. Those aren't, those aren't things to give up on. So I'm really excited to see all of you here. I'm so stoked that you took us in the streets and made it visible in this community, in this neighborhood. I'm so glad you shut down this block because now it's definitely clear that CNN can't front and act like they didn't realize that there was a huge demonstration outside of their offices like the last time. I'm so stoked to see brand new Congress over here really making visible what the political revolution is and means, which is about all of us being really mindful locally and taking over all of our elections all the way through and recognizing that this general election has a lot of seats that are open and that we've been taking names to watch people that are just sticking with status quo, yeah. Yeah. establishment, same-o, yeah. same-o, grease your pockets, I'll grease yours kind of situations. We're not interested. You know, this the sit-in that just happened, which which seems like a nice idea. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be amazing if all of those Democrats had done a sit-in to actually ban assault weapons? Yeah. As opposed to no bill, no break, and then they took a break right after they didn't get their bill, which was just no fly, no buy, which isn't really doing very much when you consider no fly, no buy. Well, those watch lists tend to have congressmen on them and veterans and people who are not associated even whatsoever with terrorism. 